Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, back with our new camp of the week, and this time we're checking out Hound's Camp. He's got several interesting build ideas all throughout this place, but we're going to start off at the lovely little greenhouse dome that he converted into a bar. First thing of note is the use of curtains in the doorway. It's a really nice touch, and I appreciate that. Another thing I really like in here, probably isn't going to seem all that special to most of you, but I enjoy it just for the added little touch it gives. And that's going to be over in front of his guitar, where he has a foot locker off in front of it, where it says tips on the front of it. Overall, I think it's a nice touch. I enjoy that. But now let's head up towards his house. And I know quite a few of you are going to notice those stairs. Do your best to ignore it, because some of the stuff inside this house makes up for it. Making our way up to the porch. There's not a whole lot up here, but then again, maxed out budget can be quite a pain and something I know we all struggle with. Now let's head on inside and always remember to close doors, people. I mean, it's just the nice thing to do. Of course, we got the Raider Punk chilling at the table, probably drinking up all the booze from the punch bowl, and then spouting stuff about Mothman and who knows what. But that's why we like him. Up here we have a master bedroom. Overall, nice clean look. Not super cluttered. But my favorite thing in this room, and possibly my favorite thing in the camp, is his lights. Because he stacks cycle lights and then put basically a chandelier on the bottom. A little dome light. And... All of it's wired up, and he can change the cycle light colors at any time. Really awesome idea. I love that. Another nice little added touch is he's got his succulents inside of a display. And I know that took some time getting that just the way he wanted it. Now we'll continue our way on in towards the work room. It's another really nice looking room course got all the workbenches in here but the focal point is going to be the custom built fireplace where looking at it I was like wait what is this on the corners oh the locker I don't know why I couldn't guess that but it looks so darn good and it matched the post holding everything up so really nice continuing our way around we come upon a weapons display which is the weapons displays are on posters and those posters have like the built-in lights on them so really neat idea there continuing our way down we'll reach another bedroom which for whatever reason I guess Raider Punk didn't want to hang out in his room he wanted to hang out and get drunk but who can blame him overall nice room and Raider Punk's got a nice bed just a side note, I have yet to see any of my allies get in a bed. They'll ride the heck out of my like little Mr. Fuzzy rides and stuff like that, but I haven't seen him get in a bed yet. Now in here, he's got his bathroom. and I, I like the idea of having the decontamination shower behind the bathtub so that when you first step in, it's almost like steam coming up out of the bathtub. Nice touch. And then over here, we, we reach the toilet with the TV. Brilliant thinking there. Never going to miss a thing on TV ever again. That's pro tactics right there. But overall, clean restroom. Really dig the bathtub idea. Now we'll continue to work our way around. Or we'll make it into the kitchen. Which, overall, isn't anything super fancy, but it does look pretty darn nice. Now we'll head out the back door, where unfortunately he had used up so much of his budget that he couldn't really do anything out back. I was surprised to see that he was at a power pylon and he didn't build in it. That is extremely rare. But that's going to wrap up the tour of his camp huge thank you to Hound for letting me share this with all of you. 
Hopefully something in his build inspired you to try something new. If you've got a camp that you want shared on Camp of the Week, one, you're going to need to be on Xbox, two, hop down in the comments, give me your gamer tag, PlayStation and PC. Stay tuned because next week I'll have a video that I really need your feedback on. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.